Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. As followers of Jesus, we are always facing battles. And one of the battles that we'll always face is the battle of temptation. And as followers of Christ, we have to be aware of the danger of temptation. And Jesus tells us exactly what you and I need to do to overcome that battle. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, it says this, Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. As followers of Jesus, the spirit indeed is willing. Your spirit, your soul, you know, that lowercase s, your spirit is willing to obey God because you have the Holy Spirit, capital H, capital S, living in you. But the flesh, your human sinful nature is weak because it pursues sin, wanting to do things contrary to the will of God. So you have to be aware of your weaknesses because I can guarantee you the enemy is. You know, the devil and his demons know exactly what temptations to throw your way, to trip you up, to make you stumble so that you stop following God. And that's the battle that we'll always face. But don't lose heart because Jesus tells us exactly what we need to do to overcome that battle. He said to watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. To be watchful means that you are being spiritually vigilant. You know, the eyes of your heart are open and alert, seeing temptation coming so that it will prompt you to pray. And I can just tell you right now that prayer, prayer, prayer is the key to overcoming temptation. That's what Jesus said. Prayer is what draws you closer to God. Prayer is what draws you closer to the Father so that you are less likely to fall into temptation because your spirit that is indeed willing will be filled with his presence with his comfort, with his peace, with his strength that will get you through the battle. So let me ask you a question. Who's winning the battle in your life today? Is it the spirit or is it the flesh? Well, it depends, doesn't it? It depends on who you're feeding more or who you're spending more time with. Are you feeding your spirit that, uh, with the presence of God and by spending time with him in prayer and reading and applying his word to your life? Or are you spending more time with self and kind of like, I'll get to the prayer and reading stuff later. Just don't got time for that. Church, you have to stay alert and watch out for the danger of temptation because the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And if you're struggling with temptation or falling into temptation today, can I just encourage you to repent? Just repent and be open and honest with God. Jesus said he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then get accountability. Find a trusted follower of Jesus Christ who you can be open and honest with about what you're struggling with today. We got a great ministry that is here for you. Celebrate Recovery meets every Monday at 630 here at a Sweetwater campus. And it is a safe place for you to work out your hurts, habits, and hangups. So again, be aware, watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. God bless you and have a great day.